One of the things that you're going to need to do for your final project is to create some test data in order to create a Qualtrics report um, from your survey. So I want to show you how to do that real quick. For this, I'm just going to go into a survey. So you open that up. Something important to note is that the survey is completely designed. And so you are only going to want to generate this, these test data once you are at that state. You've completed your survey design and you are ready to get data and then create a report and then be done. So once you're at that stage, you go up to the tools menu up here, top of the screen, and go down to test survey. If you click on that, you get a win little window that pops up. You're going to want to do quite a few responses. So I just did this. I did 300. Um, it takes a little while. So I'm only going to do five this round. If you click on options, you get a couple more options. I like to click on this box to allow unanswered questions. This makes it a little more realistic for what you are going to really re receive when people complete your survey because you're not going to get 100% complete data. So once I do this, you've changed your number to something higher. Uh, click on start test. You'll get this window. Now when I did 300, it sat at this, at this blank window for quite a while. Don't be concerned. You'll see a little uh, thing spinning at the bottom, letting you know it's still working. Do something, walk away, come back, uh, and then you should see something that looks like this, but much longer. Once you see this and you see at the bottom, survey test summary, then you know that you are complete and ready to go. So once you're there, go ahead and close this window. And one of the first things you're going to do is go up to the data and analysis tab. And so this is basically your way to look at the data that has been generated. One thing to notice is that at the top on the right hand side um, says recorded responses. And so mine says 305. I told you that I did 300 before this video, and then I did five just um, a moment ago. So that number makes sense to me. I'm happy with that. You can also look down, you see that not every question is answered, uh, which is fine. Also, see over here that this is an open response question, and so you get some words in here, um, it, but it's they're not useful. It's just gibberish. Um, and so you're not going to get anything meaningful from this, but you see that there are some, some open-ended responses in there. Other than that, this isn't entirely useful at this moment because the data are all fake. But a couple of things to note in the future, if you use Qualtrics and you actually collect some data, so you can add different questions onto here. Uh, you can click on this little green button right in between once you hover over uh, the top row. And you can add whatever questions you'd like. On the right-hand side, there's an actions column. You can you can click on that, and you can actually view individual responses. So I'm going to do that here. It's going to spin for a little bit, but then it pops up, and you're able to see how this person responded. Sometimes this is useful. Uh, sometimes you don't need it, uh, but it's good to know that it's there. You can also export your data on this screen. So if there's an export and import here, click on that, click on export, and then choose whatever option is best for you. Um, so if you are looking to import whatever data you've collected into a stats program or just use Excel, um, CSV is probably the way to go. If you have SPSS, then you can go ahead and download it in SPSS. It's going to go ahead and format things a little bit better for you and label it um, so that you have to do less work in the back end. I also want to click on more options at the bottom. Uh, the string width, just go ahead and set that to extra long if you have um, op big open response categories. Otherwise, it'll truncate whatever responses you received, which you don't want. And you can uh, select some other things here. You can also do this um, when you are exporting to a CSV. I don't want to do that right now. 
So now I'm ready to go up to the reports tab. And you're able to see that there are data in here. And Qualtrics will go ahead and start auto generating some reports for you. And at this point, you have test data and you are ready to dig into the reports feature.